for the guys that seen the other tutorial about uh, cream uh, going to make another one that's called the rocket uh, going to delete but that one by pressing X I'm going to add mesh plane 7 on the number keyboard are we going to edit mode and subdivide it in one two three like that okay now we're going to selection mode vertish are we going to select that vertice that one that one and that one and that one and that one and we move it up to somewhere over here that we had a little angle and we select both on the outside and bring them back to something like this now we're going to press B and select these vertices and bring them more together to something like that going to press B again and we're going to bring these to the center and we're going to bring press B and we're going to bring these to the center later on we're going to use these two uh, for the stick same on the other side select that one that one that one that one that one that one by holding down the shift button bring it down to approximately a little less than half like that select the outside shift right and bring it down to there going to press b to select that and bring it to something like that pressing b left mouse bring it back to something like this pressing down b and bringing that to something like that now the base is formed now we can uh, start forming the rocket and we're going to select a to deselect a to select everything and pressing uh, we're going to extrude now we're going to extrude e z and z direction only to something around here pressing s to go a little conically because uh, a lolly is always uh, conically uh, we're going to press s to scale it down a little more uh, okay like that now we're going to press es to, to shrink it and we're going to shrink it in let's say an x axis like that a bit and we're going to shrink s epsilon y in the other direction also to something like this see shrink it as much as you or the more you like later on we'll see why we're going to extrude again in z direction so we're pressing e z again and make this one not that large as, as the other one pressing s again in x so we're going to scale a little bit in x a little conically s a y also a little conically and um, as dessert the top is uh, we only going to use these so we pre-select these I don't sorry switch over to a face uh, selection of course we're going to deselect these same on the other side I'm holding down the shift button while clicking on the right mouse click and we're going to uh, say this uh, ES to shrink it a little bit like that and EZ to bring it up something like this left mouse click S to scale it because now we want to scale it in both directions to something like that and your rocket is formed now underneath we doing going to select the four right click on that one pay attention that you don't have already pressed in the shift otherwise you have to select it to the top and that one just just click right click on, on that one excuse me shift right click on four of them and if you have them pressing e z and we, we're going to bring out the small not not large later on you see why we scroll a little bit out and we're going to say EZ a larger one and we're going to add another one and uh, later on if you're, we're going to use the tool subdivision surface 
you will see why if I stop here you will see that the radius will be very large uh, that's the reason why I'm going to add another one EZ and not that much like this okay now we're going to add the materials we start up with a uh, new material and uh, the base material is wood so we call it wood uh, we choose it somewhere over it's a little darker brown to more to the yellow side yes something like this and we're going to pick because it, I don't want it shiny uh, you can also put some texture on it uh, I won't do it but uh, you could do it if you want going to assign another material to the same part so we have to press plus I've made a tutorial about it so if you don't know just have a quick look red and we choose the red button make it shiny we're going to add another one plus new we're going to call that one yellow we choose yellow a shiny yellow and going to add another one and we call that one the green one and we take a nice shiny color green I like this intensity a little bit more up okay now we're going to select uh, which color we want where uh, let's start over here um, you can uh, select them first of all select faces you can select them by uh, doing this and holding down the, the shift button and you select now every part of it like this it's not that important that you forgot one so I will explicitly forgot something so you see And I want that one in yellow. Just select yellow and say assign. Now, if you look, I've forgotten the whole base. Yeah? It's now a problem. We're going to select that one. And uh, we're going to use the C for that. So hold, holding down your left key button and select everything over here. Right click. So you can turn now to that one and press C again to for further selection. Oh, I see that I selected too much right click on that okay you see I already selected that no problem select yellow and say assign now you see that everything is good if you want that to be uh, yellow also select it if you don't want it well I'm taking that also in the account so I choose C again I'm going to deselect that one afterwards right click C again I've selected too much now. Okay, deselect is uh, shift button pressed in and re uh, clicking on the mouse to deselect. It's not that important, otherwise uh, I'll leave it because uh, later on I have to select them in another color. So yellow, good. This is done. Now we're going to select the top. Uh, the same principle. Press C. Uh, right click on it and press C to select. You can do it like this turn around C just run over it uh, we're going to see that we selected everything now we have forgotten the D's okay now we I want them in red so I press red assign yeah, or green I want green the top is red okay good ah I've forgotten these okay no problem press C select them I forgot these also, so small ones, and the front is someone over here. There's also one. Okay, I'll check. Right click, green, and assign. The only thing now left is the top part, and the top part is uh, in red. So C, right click on it, C, and you make a turn. Look at him. You could, uh, if you don't want that, uh, but it's more difficult I think to to use the visible and invisible selection so you just run over it uh, one time and you got the, these in the front and these in the back but I, I find sometimes it's rather difficult okay this is done now we're going to uh, the applier and we're going to set subdivision surface and we're going to put that one at four and now you see a very shiny rocket launcher 
Uh, ah, look, forgotten one color over here. So we go back to the selecting tool, select that one, and I want that one in yellow, like this. Okay, ah, I've, see, I selected the yellow one, but I, I didn't, it was not necessary. Just right click on that one, right click on that one, and this is the wood one. So take, type in wood and assign, and now it's done. See, everything is looking okay. So we go to the applier and say, switch from edit mode to object mode, object mode, and we say apply. The only thing left is now smoothness. Okay, this is done. Now uh, we're going to uh, the camera view. We are pressing zero on your num key, and we're going to place it, sorry, zero at the num key. We're pressing N to go to the screen and say, lock camera to view. And now we can position the ice cream where we want them. For instance, if you want it like this, or you want it horizontal, pressing R like that. And you say, okay, I like it more horizontal. Put it back at your position like you like it. And uh, if you're done, say, okay, unlock, pressing zero again. When your cursor is on the screen, of course, otherwise it won't work. Zero again. Uh, and now we're going to add the lights. So we're going to bring a light up here, yeah, just in front of the, and we're going to say three. We're going to put another one, this control D, and we're going to place one over there at the same height. Something like this. Okay. And I want the part all to be a little rotated like that yeah I'm going to render it I have smoothness okay smoothness if you don't if you didn't do it uh, pay attention put in the right selection for the file file format uh, you can erase it and you have a nice queen look oh it's much too shiny okay so we change it back the lamps uh, too close okay and I selected that one and make two of it also so it renders better now uh, yeah, it looks more nice so please if you like it uh, oh, this is probably a little too small but I can adjust it if you want uh, you see I've got some time left so you could, uh, you could select it and stretch it and stretch it to the other side also. Please, if you like my channel, I see the time is run out. Uh, uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.